So, today uh, very often what happens is we forget uh, that cities are meant for people and we are cities are more oriented towards uh, uh, transportation, cars, vehicles. So, the way our whole city and the spaces are being delineated, it is more delineated for vehicles rather than uh, people. Today, if somebody has to cross the road, it is impossible for anyone to cross the road because it is the cars that take all the, uh, uh, you know, it is you have to wait for the cars to stop and if they deem uh, right to stop, then you, they stop and then you cross across. So, I mean uh, our, our whole uh, uh, living standards have changed. Now, we are the people, we are the people who live in the city and we are the people who need to utilize the city and uh, why is it that the vehicles are uh, taking all the uh, you know priorities in terms of space, in terms of time and everything. So, uh, and uh, having said that in terms of transportation, the uh, private vehicles transport less than 10 percent of the actual uh, uh, moving population in the city. So, then why are we constantly designing only for, for cars with flyovers and, and all that. So, you know I think one of the first things that our city needs is it needs to have a, a good decent comfortable uh, system of uh, public transport and public transport should not mean like uh, something which is uh, you know below anyone's dignity to use. It should be available for everybody, anyone and everyone uses public transport and it should be made comfortable, convenient. So, then straight away I think you are knocking off a lot of uh, uh, pollution in the air and it also starts helping people walk to work. Now, today 2 to 3 kilometers is, is not considered a big distance to walk. In fact, it is healthy to walk, but you cannot walk on the street simply because there is no place for you to walk you will get knocked down by cars, you will get knocked down by anything you know it is it's, it's most dangerous to walk today. So, I think these priorities need to be uh, straightened out first and uh, the public spaces uh, now uh, with all these vehicles okay considering today with all our flyovers and great separators and huge uh, uh, traffic roundabouts that we have and the elevated roads that we have. There are a lot of spaces that are below these flyovers that we really do not know what to do. So, we just plant some, uh, uh, there is some pretty plants over there, there is fencing and we just can see it, we do not even use that space and invariably there is those spaces get into disuse and uh, hawkers and you know uh, uh, indiscriminate parking and filth and garbage starts accumulating in all these places. So, I think we need to start creating public spaces. So, maybe we should look at rejuvenating and recalibrating our public spaces. So, uh, apart from the beach that we have, we have got two rivers that uh, we can uh, develop the waterfront as uh, as a public space where people can hang out. Today, we do not have places where the family can go out in an evening for a walk or to uh, even just spend some time outside. You know, there is no place, it is only the beach and the beach is just so full. And uh, when we talk about pedestrians, we talk about all age groups right from a child from a physically challenged person, uh, visually impaired persons, elderly and of course, the rest of the uh, rest of the uh, you know populace that we have. So, uh, I think care needs to be taken to uh, help the pedestrians use the city a lot better than uh, um, you know than what it is today. And uh, as architects, I think we have an, a responsibility towards the built environment and uh, uh, how we make our buildings more uh, climate sensitive, so that you know we use less energy and uh, make it more comfortable for the people to live in. Uh, so, I think uh, um, th there are a whole lot of things that we can do to improve uh, our living, because you now everyone goes abroad and says oh it is so beautiful in this place and so beautiful in that place and all that, when you come back and you say it is the same old uh, rubbish. But I think the change should uh, should come from the people and uh, it is our way of thinking and we as architects definitely have a responsibility towards making buildings better and uh, making it more viable and sensible and sensitive to the uh, environment that we are a part of and um, that's that I think should be the way forward for us.